Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> and we are on the planet Furmire. We just concluded a very disturbing conversation with what we thought was a ship named Sovereign, but it turns out that Sovereign is actually a Reaper. All right, we've now moved on to the Krogan breeding grounds where we're going to plant a bomb to wipe out these Krogan soldiers that they're planning on creating that will help the Reapers exterminate all sentient life as we know it. All right, come on, let's go. Charges are set. Everyone get low, now. All right, we're waiting for the Normandy to arrive. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. What? We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Folks, I specifically pointed out where you could go on Vermeer to destroy those drones prevent Captain Kirahi from dying, and he's still dead. Apparently, we didn't get all of them. So, I'm gonna accept the consequences of my actions. We're gonna continue on with this. Not going back to replay it and try to save Captain Kirahi. He just will not be in Mass Effect 3. Alright, let's keep going. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we... Uh oh It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. All right, we're going to go back to the squad that we had, Erdnot Rex and Garrus Vicarian. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's save Ashley. All right, we've got Jam. That means Geth. All right, Rex, we're gonna need our barriers. Barriers up. I'm gonna throw a singularity. And if I could get overload. I don't know what else you can do. We'll just go with that for the moment. We 
get them all? Looks like it. Negative all right. Contact. Come on, let's go. crate over here that could be missed in someone's excitement to save Ashley. And we have an Avenger 10 assault rifle and a Duelist 10 light human armor. Okay. Let's Omni-Gel the Avenger 10 and we'll take the Duelist. It may come in handy for someone. Alright, come on. Let's go. Uh-oh. Get for sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. All right, people, here we are. This is the faithful decision on Vermeer. Only one of these two crew members can live. And it's up to us to make the decision on who we're going to save. All right, so, Ashley, you've had a very rough and tumultuous start with her being brought on board the Normandy against Shepard's wishes. And they argued about it. And she insisted that, well, Captain Anderson wants me on board. So they went back and forth and they finally kind of sort of made up. But then, when Shepard met Liara, she tried to step in and voice her bigotry towards aliens. And Shepard was open to a threesome with the two women. But Ashley balked at the suggestion. And then, going beyond the personal. In Mass Effect 3, we're going to metagame here for a moment. In Mass Effect 3, Ashley, who is a soldier, I didn't find that her power synergized well with Shepard. She has concussive shot, which is helpful, and disruptor ammo, which is also helpful. But she really didn't add that much to the game when it came to combat. Caden, on the other hand, as a sentinel, has a whole suite of abilities. From cryoblast to reeve, and I, I don't even know what else he can do, but you know, he's like that, that Swiss army knife that can do just about everything. So he really does synergize very well with no matter what type of class of Shepard that you're using, from engineer to a biotic. You know, Caden can do anything. He can pull off those combos. Great to have it as a teammate. So, based on all these factors for this playthrough, we're going to rescue Caden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, we got two Renegade for that. Let's get out of here. We've got a bomb to set off. Jammed. All right, we've got more gas. Oh my goodness! Over there. Yeah, over there. Um, Garrus, I need overload. Got him. Got him. All right, we've got some very powerful-looking gas. 
Uh, I'll take sabotage. Warp from Rex. Warp from me. Got it. All right, we got another one. Um, we can use damping. I don't think that's going to do much good. Throw. Oh no, another one! Alright, let me... Oh, I don't have barrier. Guys, get out there. Garrus is already down. Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. All right, well, while we're here, let's see if we can find out anything more about the conduit. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop it. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Oh, but it sounds like you truly are. And let's find out more about the Geth while we have this moment. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Hmm. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we 
must also prove we're useful. We must work with the Reapers. All right. It sounds like Sovereign is proposing what we saw in the finale of Mass Effect 3. The green option. Synthesis. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. Uh oh, you here comes the music, our people. Entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh, get ready. Get our barriers, Rex. Uh, let's see. Let me position you guys over there. Where is he, anyway? Looks like a... Garrus is still out. All right, we'll just have to warp him. It would be nice if I could use singularity on him. We'll try it and throw. that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. Why me? Why not her? Alright, I know he's a renegade, but I think he needs to show some compassion towards his crew. It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job... You wouldn't have had to make that call. Williams is dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Sarah and her sacrifice was made in vain. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Uh-oh, people, here it comes. Brace yourself. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs>
I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Don't we all? That was... that was intense. All right. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Sarah needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Finally, some answers. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest, somewhere quiet. All right, that sounds good then. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Oh, you bet he does. Shepard looks forward to these conversations. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. And you know what Commander Shepard absolutely is not going to do? It's stand here and be insulted. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. All right, well, that takes care of the council. We've lost a crew member. And now it's time for us to talk with the crew after this uh, mission on Vermeer to see where everyone is. And it may also be near time for us to head to Ilos to conclude Mass Effect. But I do believe we are going to have some side missions that we're going to have to knock out first. But we'll see in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>